guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite hair care products for healthy, relaxed hair. So if you want to see what I use on my hair, please keep watching. And I hope the fan isn't too loud. Um, I kind of want to put a little disclaimer out. I don't like doing disclaimers, but sometimes I feel I should. I watch a lot of hair care videos, especially the past month. I watched a lot because I was switching up my routine, well, the past two months. And from what I've gathered, people really don't like the relaxed hair care community. So I am gonna put it in the title, I am relaxed. Um, if you don't agree with people who relax their hair, this probably isn't the video for you, but I know a lot of people do relax their hair and a lot of people are natural. I don't have anything against people with natural hair. I used to be natural, but this is just what works for me. And yeah, so I'm gonna be sharing the products that I use for my relaxed hair. So, okay, let's get into it. Also, I am still a little sick, so if I sound a little nasally, I apologize, but I really miss filming so I was like you know what I'm gonna film today sick or not so hopefully it's not too bad but uh, over the past two months I've started using different products for my hair because um, my hair just seemed not to be its healthiest I'm gonna go a little into my backstory um, I started getting relaxers maybe at about 13 and I relaxed up until I was 18 and then in college I went natural um, I was natural for 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. I think I was natural for like six or seven years and I grew my hair out really long and then I decided it was too much. It was too much of a hassle. It took too long. At the time I was working crazy hours and it was just more efficient for me to have relaxed hair with my lifestyle and where I lived. It was just too much. So that's why I started relaxing my hair. I previously used to use all drugstore hair care products but last month I did a hair challenge and and I really saw the benefit of using higher end hair care products so that is what I use by no means am I saying that you need to go spend this much money on hair care or hair tools I think it's all about what works for you I think it's good to take bits and pieces from different people's routine and kind of work it into your own and see what works for you so that's my backstory first I'm gonna show you the tools that I use and I actually left one in the bathroom so I'll be right back so as far as hair care tools go the flat iron that I use is the GA HD classic styler the one inch I purchased this from Sephora maybe I purchased it in college so that had to be almost a decade ago <laughs> god that makes me feel old maybe this is about seven or eight years old it was a pretty penny this flat iron I believe was $1.95 when I purchased it but once again it has lasted me like seven or so years it's really good quality I like it but I am looking into getting the Babyliss Pro one and a half inch ultra thin just because as my hair has gotten longer it takes <laughs> it takes a longer time to do it so I want something that is a little bigger so I have more surface area so that's the flat iron that I use I will link all these products below the blow dryer that I use is the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium um, Made in Italy Portofino Dryer. It looks like this. Uh, I got this for Christmas last year from a friend. I love this blow dryer. I used to use a Babyliss one that was about $40. This one I believe is like $160 or so, but it is so worth it if you do your hair at home. That's another thing I should mention. I don't go to the salon other than getting trims and getting relaxers, which is like one or two times a year. My hair in the front, when it's straight, comes to like under my breast and in the back. Um, the very ends of my hair, the longest hair comes to the small of my back. So my hair is fairly long. So for me, I need really good tools so that I can be efficient in my drying and styling process. Um, because I don't like going to the hair salon simply because I don't want to pay money and if I can do something myself I just really don't like paying to do it um, so over the years I've just improved my technique and I do my hair at home so that's why I kind of can justify spending a little more on products and tools because I'm not going to the hair salon as often as other people might as far as brushes I use the Olivia garden paddle brush to um, blow dry my hair I will try to insert a picture here 
here and I will also link that down below. I'm doing a how I straighten my hair routine so if that is not already up um, it'll be up soon and I'll be sure to link that somewhere in this video if it is up. So now let's get into the product. The shampoo and conditioner I use are from Pureology and they are from the Hydrate line. The conditioner is actually upside down but for me it's just easier to have them both like this and I put a little one and two on them so that I'll know which one I use in the shower but this is the hydration line from Pureology. It's very very hydrating. It makes your hair silky smooth and soft and full of body and lightweight. It's just this is the first higher end hair care line that I've tried and I am obsessed. It works a lot, well no it's the second. I tried Paul Mitchell before but this is everything. I absolutely love this line. If you want something that's really hydrating for your hair and you also have color treated hair, I would say try this line out. It is expensive but to me it's well worth it especially since I do my hair at home. As far as scalp treatments and hair treatments and masks, the first treatment I have is for my scalp. This is from Paul Mitchell. This is the Tea Tree Hair and Scalp Treatment. This is really nice if you have buildup on your scalp, if you have a dry and flaky scalp, if you have, I wouldn't say necessarily dandruff, but just a flaky scalp when your scalp gets dry or any product builds up. If you want to feel like you're having a spa treatment for your hair, this is really nice. The tea tree in it just, it's very invigorating. It feels super, super nice when you're washing your hair. I would do this, um, I do this before my conditioner. Yeah, I do, I put this on my scalp and then I put my conditioner on my ends and this just makes your scalp feel like amazing and your scalp is super clean and it's rid of all the impurities and flakes or anything builds up. As far as moisture goes, I have my Joico K-Pack Intense Hydrator Treatment for Dry Damaged Hair. I really like this if you want to get buttery soft hair. So if you're looking for a moisture treatment, if your hair is a little bit dry, if it's the fall and winter time, or if you just have naturally drier hair and you want an intense treatment, I would use this. It works well for me. It makes my hair just so smooth and soft and it's just everything. It makes your hair feel so soft and smooth and hydrated and just soft, like super, super soft. Like the Pureology makes your hair feel soft enough, but if you add this mask in there, you're good to go, I promise you. <laughs> Now my other intense hydrating mask that I really like that is actually not high end and I bought this from Target is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Ma, I always say this incorrectly, Mafura, Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This is a little thicker. It's done. It's definitely like a cream product of course because it's in the tub. It's very thick. I would say this is great even for natural hair because it is so intensely hydrating and thick, but this is really nice. This can leave your hair feeling a little greasy though, so if you do have finer hair, I would use it sparingly. I tend to only use this once a month or every other month because it can tend to weigh my hair down a little bit, but sometimes when it gets really cold outside and there's dry air, you really need that. This is a staple for me, I love it. As far as strengthening products, one product, I am dropping everything. It's because I'm still getting over a cold, so I'm very foggy. This is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap from the Extreme line, which is all about preventing breakage and maintaining healthy hair. I have a section of my hair in the back, like right here, and I think it's from where I part my hair to do my straightening routine, so I have kind of mixed it up. And it it started breaking. So I've been using this product there and I've noticed that the hair is just, I don't know, it just feels stronger. I haven't had a lot of breakage when I'm combing out my hair and blow drying it. And I just really like how this kind of fortifies your hair. And I know that a lot of people also really like this product, but I've basically been just concentrating it on the section of my hair that's very prone to breakage because I was blow drying my hair and I was realizing like, like you probably can't tell but there's some hair back here that is like really really short and broken off so I've been using this for a while I really like it I also sometimes just use it on the ends of my hair and it works really well at just keeping your hair strong so if you're having ah, if you're having problems with breakage and you really just want to fortify your hair and have it be stronger I would try this product once again it's called the anti-snap and you can find this at Ulta 
Okay, now let's go into finishing products and mists of that sort. This product is actually my heat protectant and shine spray. This is the Sebastian Trillion Thermal Protection and Sparkle Complex. Now, I previously was not using a thermal protectant. I just figured what can it really do? But since I'm trying to get my hair as healthy as it can be, I decided to use a thermal protecting product. And I really like this, number one, because it smells amazing. It smells like cantaloupe. It's just so awesome smelling. But it also has a sparkle complex in it. So I put this on my hair. Let me think. I think I do it after I dry my hair. No, before I dry my hair. So before I start blow drying, I spray this on. You can also spray it before you flat iron your hair. But you just be mindful of not to put too much in it. Because you don't want to make your hair wet again. But I really love this. Um, I think it's protecting my hair. I think it's good to use a thermal protection overall. Just if you are going to apply heat to your hair. But the fact that it adds a little shine is a bonus. They also have one that has a UV filter. And I think I will be getting that one as well. Well, for hairsprays, I was so pleasantly pleased with this product. This is also by Sebastian and it's the Sebastian Shaper, the original formula. I was always afraid to use hairspray because they always made my hair crunchy, but this product does not. It's like amazing. I think they call it Shaper because you can literally shape it however you want. But then you can brush it out and your hair will be amazing again. So what I do is I shake it up really, really well. I hold it about this far away and then I just spray my hair. You can spray it before you flat iron or curl it and you can also do it after to hold your curl but it's just so great. So if you're looking for a new hairspray I would try this. They do sell it for a little cheaper at Sally Beauty Supply Store so I would check that out. I've also seen it in two packs at my local Kroger but this product is so awesome. I never thought I would feel this way about a hairspray but it's so good. The next product I have is something that I use after after a couple days of doing my hair sometimes two days after or three days after I'll get flyaways up here so I'll put this product in my hair this is the Marula um, the Marula Daily Moisture Mist Leave-In Conditioner Heat Protectant. So this is really nice if, let's say, you're going to be going out with your friends and you want to do your hair really nicely, um, but it's the end of the day, you want a heat protectant, but you also want something to tame your flyaways. This is perfect. You can also use this at the beginning of the day. It is silicone paraben and phthalate-free, but it just helps reduce frizz and flyaways and makes your hair smell really good and feel really soft. So I do like this. This is a sample size products so I will be picking up another one of these now for dry shampoos this is also travel size this is my living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo I do want to try the dove one because I have heard that that's a good one that's also inexpensive but I got this from Sephora online I really like this dry shampoo for the week that I don't do my hair so I pretty much wash and blow dry my hair every other week so the first week my hair will be flowy and nice and the second week like this is second week hair the second week my scalp will be really oily so I'll need something to get rid of that oil if I'm not wearing it in a ponytail because sometimes that second week I'll just bun it or put it in a ponytail but I really like this it has a nice fresh scent and it gets all the oil out and if you brush it out you won't have any of that white residue I really like this stuff my last two products are hair dresses the first one is for your scalp so like I said in the fall and winter time sometimes my scalp can get dry and flaky just because of the colder air and the lack of moisture in the air so one product I really like is the Design Essentials Therapeutic Anti-Itch Hair and Scalp Treatment. Um, it's a dandruff hair grooming product and it's very lightweight. It kind of looks like the old-fashioned grease products but it is very lightweight. A little goes a long way. It smells like menthol. It probably has peppermint oil in it which is really good for your scalp. And I kind of use this, I concentrate it in this front area. So I kind of do use it as a grease. So let's say that I've just finished blow drying and straightening my hair. If I know that we're in fall or winter and my hair is gonna be very, um, dry or my scalp I mean even now my scalp is dry right in here I'll kind of just comb through my hair part it and then put it in this front section just to hydrate my scalp so that I can prevent the flakes 
And then my second one is the Carol Starter Marguerite's Magic. This is the Restorative Cream Hairdress. I also use this for second week hair. So for that second week, sometimes my hair can look a little dry and dull and just in need of moisture. And I'm actually gonna do it now because I have second week hair and it is starting to get a little dry. So this product just helps to hydrate my hair and it kind of just gives you the moisture that you're wanting without having to do like a treatment or a mask. It is very thick, so I would only kind of use this if you're natural or if you have relaxed hair and you know you're gonna be washing soon. I kind of get about that much. Rub it between the palm of my hands and I basically just concentrated on midway to the ends of my hair just to make it like soft and manageable and hydrated because sometimes after a week or so, my hair can get a little dry and dull. And um, at this point, I'm not too worried about having my hair be greasy because, like I said, I am going to wash it soon. And I also sometimes put it at the nape, just anywhere where my hair is more prone to be dry or brittle. I just really love this product. It smells really good and it just is very restorative, like it states. So guys, those are all the products that I have to share with you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.